This crocodile species was nearly wiped out, but then it made a surprising comeback. The only question is, how long for? 50 years ago in the Pantanal, Jacare caimans were heavily hunted for their skin. Their population dropped by the millions and was brought to the brink of extinction. But then, in 1992, trading restrictions were introduced and the caimans started to recuperate. A few years later, a survey extrapolated an enormous population of up to 35 million. But in recent years, the Pantanal has been unusually dry due to high rates of burning, deforestation, and hydroelectric plants. These factors all negatively influence the Jacare Cayman's numbers. At the moment, nobody knows exactly how many are left. So, let's take a closer look at this remarkable animal. The circle of life starts with mating, and Jacare Caymans vibrate to mate. The males bend their bodies into a U-shape, raising their heads and tails above the water, and then they start to vibrate. These bubble-blowing vibrations produce infrasound, which carries through the opaque water to the females waiting nearby. Head slaps and jaw snaps produce higher frequency sounds that are easier to pinpoint and allow the females to find the male of their choice. The Jacare caiman reproduces quickly, which is a clear advantage when you're under threat. During the hot and rainy summers, caimans mate with several partners. All this back rubbing, snout touching, and circling each other goes on for weeks in the waters of the Pantanal. A group of capybaras stands nearby. Apparently, they've learned that they don't need to be too scared. Caimans aren't as aggressive as other crocodile species, and their diet is focused more on fish, snails, and snakes. Still, their 74 teeth are rather impressive. The male Jacare caiman can grow to a length of 3 meters and weigh up to 60 kilos, which makes them perfect prey for jaguars. Caiman's exact lifespan is unknown, though we do know that similar species live to be about 50. But sometimes, life ends earlier than expected. During the dry season in winter, the water level falls by over a meter. In the unrelenting heat, the water continues to evaporate, leaving only dry land and muddy pools. The Jacare caimans are concentrated in ever smaller pockets of water. They've eaten all the fish here and need to leave, soon. They wait until the cool of the evening to make their escape. These reptiles aren't designed for long-distance travel. Their waddling gait is inefficient, but they need to search out new pools. This caiman will have to find a new water hole soon, or die of exhaustion. And they only have the hours of darkness to find a less crowded home. These Jacare caimans have found a new pool, but the respite is temporary. The Pantanal continues to dry out. When the rain sets in after months of drought, the Pantanal transforms. The water rises by as much as two meters and will stay like this for months. Here, the flood has dislodged a casualty of the dry season. Not all the caimans made it to safe havens. Full of gas, one becomes a floating restaurant for black vultures. Unfortunately, recent developments won't make things any easier for the Caymans. This year, the Pantanal hasn't been full. And since the beginning of 2020, the wetlands have been facing high rates of fire, among other threats. 
Leading scientists who carried out the Cayman survey back in the 90s assume that only a fraction of those former millions are still alive. And if things continue, the species could suffer irreparable damage. Hi there, I'm Eva from Terra Mata. When I started the research for this story, I thought that this gotta be a positive story about a flourishing species, but it turned out dark clouds are gathering over the Pantanal. So we will keep a close eye on this. And if you're interested, please stay tuned on our future uploads and subscribe.